everyone welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching my previous video in case you haven't watched it already you have a link right here you can go and check it out it was basically how i made my first sale on fiverr by freelancing for just 10 minutes it's going to be helpful for all the fiverr new sellers out there in this video i will be discussing five secret tips that you need to know about fiverr before getting started so without further ado let's get started the first step is going to be staying online counts and i know that it's a very basic tip and i think most most of the fiverr freelancers will actually be knowing this that actually staying online does make a difference when i was a new seller i did not know this and i thought that i have created a good gig and done all those fiverr seo and everything i have created good gig images i have updated the gig description and i thought that my job is done but it isn't actually you need to be staying online on the fiverr platform as much as possible to get the maximum impression now you must have seen that when you can actually switch to your buyer account and let's say you search for a particular service let's take uh, for example instagram highlights let's say i want to search for a seller who can get me some custom instagram highlights so i'm going to search for instagram highlights and there are some filters right on the top right corner which actually help you to filter your search based on those options and one option out of that is actually online sellers sometimes what happens you know that there are certain uh, cases when a buyer needs something immediately like let's say that he has a project that needs to be submitted uh, by tonight and therefore he wants something to be done immediately like in the next two to three hours and in those cases the buyers actually look for online sellers so that they can uh, immediately start a conversation and if they are on the same page they can just get started and then the turnaround time is also going to be uh, very soon right so they are going to receive the, uh, the delivery uh, within that day itself so what happens in those cases the buyers actually prefer sellers who are co currently online on the fiber platform okay so it's very important especially if you are a new seller try to remain online on the fiber platform as much as possible now i know that it's not possible to remain uh, glued to your computer screen uh, 24 7 so what you can do is like you can just install the fiber app that you get from app store or play store and then you can be running that app uh, in your background in your smartphone and that might help so let's come to the next tip and that is basically about your gig url so you must have seen that when we actually try to create a new gig the title that we actually give to our gig gets set as the gig url now you can actually edit your gig a number of times but once the gig url has been set it cannot be changed now you might ask me that should i be concerned about this now i will answer you that yes you definitely need to be concerned about your gig url because i hope you know about fiverr seo it's basically a technique where we optimize our gig content our gig uh, title and everything by adding some keywords by adding some call to action phrases so the same thing you can do for your gig url so normally what is done is like you need to carry out keyword research like let's say if i take the example of the gig which i showed you in the previous video that is um you know transparent signature in uh, photoshop what are the keywords right here transparent can be a keyword signature is a keyword then photoshop can be a keyword so your main motive should be to use these keywords as much as possible in your gig description in your title as well as your gig url okay so what happens that since the gig url one set it cannot be changed what you should do is like for the first time when you're creating your gig first write while writing the gig title just include all of these keywords in the title and then publish your gig what will happen i understand that the grammatically the title might not sound correct but in that case you are stacking all the keywords that you require in your gig url now once this has been done you can go on editing your gig any number of times you want and then you are just uh, you can like correct your title gig title gig description everything but since the gig url has now been properly set with the keywords that 
matter then you are going to make the impression the third tip or the third secret i want you to know about fiverr is basically the amount of money fiverr charges from you okay so most of the people think that freelancing on fiverr is easy because fiverr does not charge you anything but that's not the truth for every sale you make fiverr charges about 20 percent of the income that you make from every order and that is basically the commission that fiverr charges for using the fiverr platform okay so and that does not end there whenever you will actually like want to transfer the money that you now have in your fiverr account to your own uh, account fiverr actually provides you two ways currently one is do a bank transfer or you might transfer your money to your paypal account now normally i think people will go for bank transfer that's what i did and then i saw that for every individual bank transfer fiverr is going to charge three dollars okay and that is for every bank transaction that you are going to do so not only 20 percent of your um, order income is charged from you also you are going to be charged three dollar for every bank transaction so what i will suggest you is that don't try to transact individual amounts i mean to say that if you have made like you know small amount don't try to transact that because every time you do you will be charged three dollars instead try to accumulate a large amount in your fiverr account and only after that try to transfer this to your bank account because three dollars if they are charged on a small amount is going to burn your pocket but in case it's on a larger amount it's going to matter a bit less by the way if you are enjoying this video and you're finding this video useful don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my youtube channel to get further freelancing related content content related to internships college life projects technical projects or any kind of projects that you need to be doing while you're in college the fourth secret that i want to let you know and that is basically about exchange rates right so you must have noticed that the fiber income that you have made it actually fluctuates each and every day at first i used to think that maybe fiber is charging some money from me but I, then I did my research, I googled it and, and then I saw some videos and then I came to understand that it's basically the exchange rates. The equivalent amount of rupees for $1 changes every other day and therefore the exchange rates fluctuate and therefore you will see that the fiber income that you have in your fiber account will fluctuate every day like uh, one day if it is like 1500 uh, or uh, let's say 1550 rupees the next day it can actually go down to 1510 rupees. You don't need to worry about this it's just about the exchange rates many people think that maybe fiverr is charging something from them but it's not true so this was the secret that i wanted to let you know and let's come to the last uh secret or last tip that i want to let you know and that is basically about the fiverr resolution center and it's very important and most of the fiverr sellers they don't even know about this so what happens is fiverr has actually provided you a resolution center where you can report or where you can make the fiverr officials know about any issues you are facing any problems you are facing with your buyer the buyers can also report the same like if they are facing any issues with the seller like if uh, you know whatever uh, was requested was not provided if uh, there has been some uh, you know unruly behavior on their part so all of these can actually be reported to the fiber resolution center and often sometimes what happens that you need to actually cancel an order so those things can also be done through the fiber resolution center and here we have the five secret tips or secrets that i wanted to let you know about fiverr and that are going to definitely make your fiverr freelancing life a bit easier i hope you found this video useful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel for such related content also hit the notification bell to get notified every time i post on youtube and also if you found this video useful and you want me to make videos on some other topic as well you can comment your thoughts down below so this was all for this video let's meet you in the next video bye